hello everyone so in last video we have seen like how actually we can create a cluster how actually we can create a table in a databricks environment so in this video we will continue that and we will try to see the spark sql command how actually we can run in a databricks environment so let me open so this is the notebook which i have created okay now let us try to learn the spark sql one by one okay so if you want to see the your data okay now if you want to see all your tables so how actually we can see all the tables if you will do show tables this command if you will run it will show all the tables which you have okay i can see i have a two table one is department underscore csv one is the worker table how to create a table that actually we have already covered in the last video right now if i want to see this particular worker table how actually we can write a query select star from worker if i will do i can query that select star from worker if i will do I can and if I will run I can see the worker table okay this is how simple it is and we can see all our query and if you want to see department table also the same query is department underscore csv this is our second table which we have if I will run this the I can see the department table okay now let us see how actually we can use filter in a spark sql okay now what is our requirement is like you can see in our worker table right we have a salary right salary range is 10,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000 so I want to filter the record whose salary is greater than 10,000 I want that record only how actually we can filter it out in a spark sql let us see okay so what what we have to write select star from table okay now for filtering we have to use a where command what is our table name first we have to give the table name is worker right now after that we have to write where salary greater than 10,000 if I will execute this I will get all the records from the worker table whose salary is greater than 10,000 okay we can see we are getting 4 record 20,000, 15,000, 20,000 and 30,000 okay now let us see if you want to sort it out okay sort it out based on the salary the highest salary to the minimum salary how actually we can do in that case we can use a order by for sorting we can use a order by okay how actually we can write a query select star from table from worker table our table name is worker after that we have to write order by order by salary if I will write D E S C means it will it will sort based on the descending order. If I will write if I will not write or if I will write A S C then it will sort based on the ascending order. Okay, and if I, let me execute this based on the descending order, you can see the highest salary is coming first then the lowest salary. Okay. Suppose if I will not write anything, okay, I will just write a, a select star from worker order by salary in this case what actually it will happen by default it will sort all based on the ascending order 10,000 is coming first then the 15,000 then 20,000 20,000 and the 30,000 ok so select so start from table order by and after that the column name column name is salary ok now let us see how actually we can use some kind of the aggregated function like we have a multiple aggregated function either you can use a sum mean max okay average so these are the different kind of the aggregated function we have suppose if you want to know the what is the sum of salary you have okay so how actually we can write sum of the salary select sum of salary from the worker table if i will write this sum sum of salary from the worker i will get the sum of salary from this particular table if you will sum up all the salary from this particular table you will get the one zero five triple zero this many record okay if you want to know what is the maximum salary from this table select max of the salary if you will write salary from worker table then you will get the maximum salary from the worker table okay similarly if you want to find out the minimum that also you can write or if you want to find out the average okay so that uh, that also we can calculate it okay now let us see so these are the basic basic command the similarly it, it is almost similar to the our normal sql command okay now let us see the grouping now if i want to see okay so we have a, this particular table okay now here we have a location 
okay based on the location what is their sum of the salary if i want to find out how actually we can use so based on location i want to group and i want to use a sum of salary okay how actually i can do right select sum of salary okay what is i want to group based on the location so i will just write the comma location from which table from worker table okay and after that if i will write group by location okay now if i will execute i will get like india what is the total salary of the india is 65000 what is the total salary of us is 40000 so like that we can group it if you want to group based on the any other thing that also you can do it okay so grouping is also very simple make sure grouping you will all, always use with a aggregated function only like sum of the salary you are writing and then location okay so like this okay now let us see the other thing now let us see joining okay now you have a we have a two table like one is the worker table one is the department csv table now if you will see from worker table i am getting all the user information 1 2 3 4 5 here also we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 here all the worker information i have but which particular department they are belonging that information i don't have so what actually i can do if i will if i want to join the worker and the department table based on the user information i can get user 1 it belongs to the it department and his designation is software okay so what actually i will do we can use in that case of the joining okay how actually we can do a joining we will join based on the user only okay user so what we have to write okay the syntax is very simple and we have to remember okay how actually we actually query select star from table right select star from worker i will write that is one table okay worker so let me we can give any alias to this particular worker table or let, let's not give okay now we have a four types of the join we have a four types of the join inner join inner join left join right join and the full outer join okay inner join what actually it, it will happen only the matching records from the both the table you will get it okay in left join what actually it will happen all the records from the left table you will get it only the matching record from the right table you will get it in right join all the records from the right table you will get only the matching record from the left table you will get full join all the records you will get it okay how actually we can use a inner join select star from the table after that you have to write inner join i want to join with the second table what is my second table name department department underscore csc so what is my first table worker i want to perform inner join department underscore the csc after that we have to write on and we want to join based on the user right worker dot user equal to the department underscore csv dot user this user column is available in both the table so from worker table worker dot user is from the worker table user is equal to the department user if this is equal and if i will try to execute we will get all the record from the both the table now it actually perform the joining now you can see we are getting all the records we are getting the username salary location date attendees and the user department and the designation okay user also is present in the second table so that's also we are getting okay so it actually perform a joining now you can see user 1 is belong to the it department and his designation is the software okay so like that actually we can perform a joining now similarly if you want to perform a left join so the same syntax you have to write instead of the inner join you have to write the left join okay similarly if you want to perform a uh, right join so instead of the inner join you have to write a right join rest of the syntax will be the simple right now if you want to write a full outer join so instead of the inner join you have to write the full outer okay so that is how simple it is okay so what actually we have done we have actually combined the both the table 
with the help of the joining now if you want to union okay so what actually happen if you want to do a joining uh, if you want to union it both the table okay so from the one, one table we have a user information right one two three four five six now in second table also we have a user one two three four five six now if i will select only the one column user column and if i will do a union so how many records we will get okay let's let me show you select user from select user from worker table okay union all if i will do select user from user is the column okay user from a department csv table department underscore csv if i will do this you will see we are getting one two three four five six from one table and in the bottom in a row wise uh, joining you can see right again we are getting one two three four five six from the second table okay if you want to if you if you have a same uh, same kind of the structure from the both the tables like suppose you have a user from one table id is also is there similarly in second table also you have user and the id if you want to join the same same column in a row wise you can use a union all if you will use a union it will remove a duplicate but in union all it will not remove a duplicate so it is almost similar to the what actually we have in a sql command what are the sql command we use similarly here also we have okay in next video we will see how actually we can create a store procedure how actually we can create a view temporary view everything we will see in the next video so please uh, okay so we'll meet in the next video okay